Is homosexuality a sin? Our culture, our friends, and even the Pope is telling us what we should believe about homosexuality. But we need to look at what God says in His Word about homosexuality. And we can find the answer to that question in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusive or cheat people, None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. As you can see in these verses, it clearly states that those who practice homosexuality will not inherit the kingdom of God. Homosexuality is not God's design. In Genesis 1, we can read that God created them in His own image. He created them male and female. It goes on to say, that is why a man leaves his father and mother and bonds with his wife. They become one flesh. This is not only physical, but it's a spiritual covenant and promise we make before God. His design was for one man and one woman to become one through marriage for life. As you can see, sexuality was God's idea and it is good and we should learn from God what it is. Anything other than that is a distortion and corruption. Just like it says in Romans 1, even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with the women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men, and as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved. One woman with another woman, and one man with another man go against God's design. Sexual sin is dangerous and has consequences. Not only homosexuality, but all sexual sin. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 says, Run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Lastly, I want to go back to the first verse we read. It listed several sins, including homosexuality, and ended with none of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Well, that verse goes on to say, Some of you were once like that but you were cleansed, you were made holy, you were made right with God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. When it says some of you were once like that, it means you no longer do those things. Because of Jesus' death and resurrection, we can be forgiven and made right with God. We can be cleansed and made holy. So I want to encourage those of you who are struggling with homosexuality or are in a homosexual relationship. You can call on the name of Jesus and be saved and forgiven of all your sin. Yes, you can be forgiven of homosexuality. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, you can overcome that sin. And that goes for all of us because we have all sinned and fallen short of God's glorious standard. Now I just hit on a few verses in this video, but I encourage you guys to look to the Bible for more on this topic. Also, seek guidance from godly men or women that you know, and always feel free to DM us or comment down below with any questions or thoughts that you guys have. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. If you want to learn more about this topic and many others or about our cost-free stint internship, visit topeckert.org slash stint.